you know, you can do a throw up over a tag. You can do a simple style over a throw up. And then it's levels up to a full wild style production with characters and background illegally at night. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. where we were yeah. in 93, 4, after the earthquake in 89, and the pits were still yeah. open when I moved here in 93. That's the thing, this man. The this city be. was the mecca on so many levels. You know? Yeah. And now when I roll around, those are gone. Yeah. yeah. It's a trip, yeah, man. It's a trip. And I'm just so thankful that I was here in the 90s to see all that and experience it. We used to go down there and there'd be like a crew of like 30 fucking graffiti writers with boom boxes and 40s yeah. having a literal party Chill. in the middle of the tunnel just yeah. doing pieces. Yeah. No care in the world. The oh, bottom yeah. line yeah. is being able to have a style that's recognizable no matter what no matter you do. What, yeah. A character, a, a word. You should be able to write any word people and people like, still be it. like, oh no, so-and-so did that. Yeah. That was part of the game with graffiti. You, you know, you had to be the best with the most. And, you know, you had to do it consistently. Consistency is the key in graffiti writing. And we were writing every single day. It's maybe not the graffiti that's taking you places, it's more that like mentality and that drive to be consistent and to know that you have to strive and it's competitive and then you take that into other places. Yeah. You had to hustle. And also just kind of professionally, I feel like if I consistently sit down at the desk and draw every day, somehow everything gets paid. You just gotta put it out there. Just put it out there and see if it bites. Yeah, again, you never know what people are gonna be into. 